and welcome to another Swigging Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. And I really need something that's good now because um, <clears throat> I just did a review about uh, half an hour ago. I did the director's, uh, well no it wasn't director's, it was uh, Courage, Take Courage uh, by uh, Wells and Youngs. I mean it was 5.5% and I think anything below 5% I wouldn't drink again so it weren't far off. You know, it wasn't very nice. Very uninspiring, got E numbers in it. Uh, take courage, but you probably need to take courage to drink it to get through a full pint. To be honest with you, because I didn't, I didn't bother finishing it off. It was that bad, actually. Maybe, maybe it needs to be lower than a 5.5. Um, yeah, I didn't like it. Anyway, so let, let's change. We're, we're new now. We're, we're changing. We're changing it. We're a new leaf in the book, and this is um, Caledonian beer. Caledonian, if I, if I am not mistaken, make one of my, one of it used to be one of my favourite session beers, and that is Douches or Douches, or I don't know how you pronounce it, I used to call it Douches, uh, Douches IPA, which was, I loved that beer to death, and I've had other beers by Caledonian, and they have a very distinct flavour, there's like a very sort of um, characteristic hop that they use in their beers, that have uh, that is unique to their sort of style. So, um, if this one's called, this was part of, in the same um, deal as the directors at Morrison's, so 125, so I can compare it to that beer, uh, as this is 125 in the same deal, unmistakably bills, uh, uh, an illustratively deceptive uh, pale ale for posh match commentary or put sorry, put not posh match, post match commentary. Uh, I can't read the writing very well. It's all in sort of like italics. That's my excuse anyway. I just can't read properly. Um, yeah, so nothing on the cap. Boo. Um, standard bottle, but the, uh, listen, it's what's inside that's most important. I don't know where Bill is. Um, I'm not going to. I don't want to read the back yet because it might tell me something about the flavours. I don't want to know about the flavours yet. And um, yeah, it smells like a Caledonian beer. They've got this really unique. Got this. I don't know what hops they use, but it's got this sort of. Yeah, really unique. It sort of. Um, it's very malty. Um, uh, yeah, let's let's just, just get some into the glass. Combination is quite nice. It's not disgustingly lively like the last one I had that looked like I just opened a can of Coca Cola. Oh yeah, lovely fruity notes coming through there. Um, yeah, I'm getting an orange. I'm getting orange peel in that. You know, um, definitely from the word go. And it's very malty. It's got like a baked bread smell to it. Um, but it's hoppy as well. There's lots of hops in there. I don't know what. They always have this very distinctive way of brewing. I'm not sure what hops are in there. Um, I'd like to know because all their Caledonian beers taste the same. No, no, no. They don't taste the same. They all, they've all got a similar personality trait, shall I say? They've all got that sort of hop background and it's nice there's a lot of good Scottish beers out there I've never had a bad one there's a really good one on uh, Loch, um, Loch Ness there's a really nice brewery on there um, that we've discovered which is really good and all the beers end in Ness so it's like darkness happiness and that sort of thing you know wonderfulness Ness ok so here we go mmm <coughs> so much better than the last beer I had. It's got so much more flavour to it. It's lovely. It's really nice. Um, it's very um, very drinkable. It's what I would call like a th thorny, like a prickly hop almost. Or maybe some maybe describe that as an earthy hop, I'm not sure. It's almost like like a barky smell. You know, yeah, it is like a um, yeah, that's what it is. It's like when you, when you if you smell like a, a twig or something or so, certain certain types of shrubbery maybe, you know. But I like it. It tastes lovely. It doesn't necessarily taste like it smells. Slightly spicy. Slightly spicy note in there. Um, and the bittering is perfect. It's a very well balanced beer again. A lovely session beer. This comes in at, I'll tell you the percentage without reading the details on the back, 
4.6%. Yeah, it's hoppy. It's got quite a bit of a dry hoppy finish actually, but very it's a subtle dry hoppy finish. It's nice because it like I said it's before it's, it's balanced. So it is a dry hoppy finish, but it's um it's not dragging away at your taste buds, you know. Yeah, it's nice. I think it's like an orange smell I'm picking up off it. It's one of them, it's quite hard to carry quite hard to categorise and put in a put in like a category. I've drunk this beer before and I always find it hard to work out exactly what it reminds me of. And I said before like that like um sort of like bark and tree bark and that sort of thing maybe. Yeah, it certainly reminds me of being outside and smells I can smell outside. But it's not, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say it's like fresh cut grass, that sort of smell. But it is up here. Mmm. It's lovely. It's a nice beer. It's a sort of a nice sort of goldeny colour, you know, another golden beer, they all seem to be golden beers, don't they? A nice golden beer. I do drink other beers than golden beers, you know. I think I might make sure I go for something that's a stout next time, because I, I do tend to be going for a lot of golden beers. It didn't say golden beer on the label, so sometimes you just don't know, you just pick it up and you do read it briefly on the back, but, you know. Um, so yeah, what do we know, it's a Scottish brew, we know that, uh, I'm not sure exactly where it's based, it'll probably tell me on the back somewhere. Uh, unmistakably Bill. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit about it now. Let's see if I'm anywhere near what it says. On the back it says, uh, To honour the spirit of uh, rugby legend Bill McLaren. We have prepared this profound pale ale. Uh, brewed with a cunning balance of memorable malt and appealing hop. Yeah, getting the malt. Definitely. Uh, a beer bursting with character, just like the big man himself. <coughs> so raise a glass and a cheer. Here's to Bill. Cheers, Bill. It's not going to blow you away, this beer. It's not. It's not like you're not going to drink and go, "Wow, that's really different." It's just kind of nice. It's nice. It's got a yeah, it's the, the hop, the more I'm drinking it, the more the hop's taking control a little bit in it, and the more the, that sort of dryness is coming through, and the bitterness is coming through, um, which is quite pleasant. These are some of Bill's quotes. Kick the ball like a lump of haggis. Like a baggy up a border burn. Uh, has a face only a mother could love. Like an oxo cube on legs. <laughs> I like that one. As cunning as a bag of weasels. All arms and legs like a mad octopus. So there we go, a few, a few work quotes there from Bill himself. Uh, yeah, so the bit, if um, we've got a brewery here, it's caledonianbeer.com. Um, w, yep. Which is good. 4.6% so it's quite up there you know it's quite uh, it's uh, or the, the top end of the sort of session beer spectrum would I buy this again? yeah I'd buy and drink this again like I say it's not going to blow me it doesn't blow you away uh, it's got a low it's got a nice uh, bit of slightly soury finish on the tongue now it, now it's settling down a little bit I'll just finish that little bit off and um, to give a final conclusion really Still can't work out the smell. It reminds me of something else, but it's almost a musty smell. It's a musty sort of smell, but it's nice. I like it. It's different, and it's their it's their trademark. I'd, I'd love to know. What I'd like to know what Ops they use Caledonian beer. If you know, please when on on the messages, just some if just add a comment and just tell me. I'd love to know more about this brewery, and for that sake, any other breweries that I'm, I'm reviewing. Uh, so yeah, here's to Bill. Here's to a, a good review. I'm going to give this um, 7.5 out of 10. Would I buy this again? Yes. Would I break my neck to buy this again? 
Probably not. You know, there's better beers out there, but it's definitely worth one pound twenty-five in that deal. Definitely. Um, so, um, here's to a good beer. Uh, it's perked me up a little bit after the uh, uh, courage that I had earlier, which wasn't very nice. Um, and I will see you again next time. Thank you very much for watching. We're on YouTube, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. If you can be bothered to subscribe, brilliant. See you later.